In this video, we are going to solve a problem taken from the IMO long list. To prove that, the infinite series 1 plus 1 over 2 cubed plus 1 over 3 cubed, 1 over 4 cubed, all the way up to infinity, is less than 5 over 4. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. First of all, I'm going to show that this infinite series indeed converges. There are lots of ways to prove that, for example, we can use the comparison test. This series is less than the sum over 1 over n squared, n from 1 to infinity, because this is equal to pi o squared over 6. This series converges, so that means our infinite series converges as well. Or you can use the integral test, which consists the integral from 1 to infinity on the function 1 over x cubed dx. If you integrate it, you have minus 1 half of x to the power minus 2 integrating from uh, upper limit infinity and lower limit 1. And that is actually 1 half, so converges. And the uh, third most common test is the p-series test, which simply says that the summation of p powers, 1 over p powers, from 1 to infinity converges when p is larger than 1. And so because uh, for our case, it's p equals 3, so it clearly converges. Now back to the main problem. To establish the required bound, I'm going to bound each term of the given infinite series, say 1 over n cubed by 1 over some larger expression. And this time I'm going to choose n cubed minus n because it's the product of three consecutive numbers. I chose this because I can turn the series into some telescoping sum from 1 over n minus 1 times n times n plus 1. This is inspired from the experience that if I choose to calculate the sum of say 1 over n times n plus 1, I can split it into fractions of simpler form and then as I add these terms up, many of them will cancel out. So the final answer will be very simple. So before moving on, let us see how can this fraction 1 over n minus 1 times n times n plus 1 can be split. So let This fraction to be identical to some constant over n minus 1 plus some constant over n plus some constant over n plus 1. So this girl is usually called as partial fractions. And by simplifying, we'll have 1 identical to a times n squared plus n, just taking common denominators and then cancel them out and then b times n squared minus 1, and c times n squared minus n. And comparing coefficients of like terms, we have a plus b plus c equals 0. And for the coefficient of n, we have a minus c equals 0. While for the constant term, we only have minus b equals 1. So we end up having b equals minus 1, and a and c have to be equal. And because their sum has to be 0, all three unknowns, so a and c have to be 1 half. Now that means we can turn this into 1 half of 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 half of 1 over n plus 1. 
So let's see whether this would really help. Now for our series, we have 1 plus 1 over 2 cubed plus 1 over 3 cubed, 1 over 4 cubed, etc. And we say that it's less than 1 plus 1 over 2 cubed minus 2, 1 plus 1 over 3 cubed minus 3, plus 1 over 4 cubed minus 4, all the way up to infinity. Noticing that we only do this bound for all n greater than or equal to 2. Then we can use our result for the partial fractions. So it's equal to 1 plus half of 1 over 2 minus 1 minus 1 half plus half of 1 over 2 plus 1. So if we simplify, we have 1 over 1 minus 1 half and plus half of 1 third. Following this pattern, we can write all other terms in this way. 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth. Let's do one more group. 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth etc. All the way down plus half of 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n plus half of 1 over n plus 1 and all the way down to infinity. Now notice that we can cancel out terms in this way. We have one thirds here, here and here in the middle. We have half plus half minus 1 of one third so we can cancel out one third in this way, and similar for one fourth, one fifth, etc., all the way down. So they are all going to vanish, and at last, the limit which tends to, I should use this symbol, which tends to, as n goes to infinity, we have one plus one half minus one half plus a quarter. And this is exactly 5 over 4. So, because our given infinite series is less than this limit, so we know that our given series as it sums to infinity indeed is less than 5 over 4. So we have completed the proof. Please feel free to share our ideas in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.